Hello. So, join me sitting on the floor in my bedroom next to my mirror here. I have very kindly been invited by Cool as Leicester. If you don't, or if you are local and you don't already follow Cool as Leicester, I'll leave their links below. They are the best place to find out about anything that's happening in Leicester, really. Anyway. I need to not ramble because I haven't got long to get ready and I am just sat here in my hoodie and my tights. I've been at the charity shop this afternoon and tonight they very kindly invited me and my bubble, so Tom, to check out Lane 7 which is opening in Leicester. Me and Tom love bowling. You would have seen from some of my other vlogs that we get quite competitive and I'm determined to beat him tonight. Although, I do have a stiff neck at the moment, and he said I'm getting my excuses in, but it's not an excuse. I have been mainlining deep... Yeah? Have big news. Yeah, hang on. So, sorry about that interruption. Tom just came upstairs, and it is really good news that he came to tell me, so I can't even tell him off, that the Canary Islands have been taken off the unsafe flying list now. So, fingers crossed, our holiday in December is going to go ahead. Anyway, as I was saying, I've been mainlining deep heat on my shoulder, but we are going bowling. So, I'm just trying to decide what to wear. I kind of want to dress up a little bit because we very rarely get to go out these days, so it would be good. But also, I don't know about bowling shoes. We went bowling at Butlins back at the beginning of September and you just wore your own shoes. So I've got my Converse to wear. So I'm just trying to decide what to put with that. And I think I've got an idea. I did want to repaint my nails, but I'm just not going to have time. So I'm going to have to just touch them up. Sort my hair, sort my makeup, and then I'll come back to you. So if only getting ready was actually that quick. I've just got on this kind of sheer long sleeve top blue dress, fishnet tights and converse. Tom says that I look like I'm dressed like an American diner. Quite like it though, so not going to change now. We have just made it to lane seven. Um, yeah, I can see inside already. I don't know if you can see up there, bowling lanes. So we're just going to go in and I'll see what I can show you. from the event and I just thought I'd do a little bit of a debrief while I take off my makeup. I've been using this Body Shop eye remove makeup remover and I don't think it's all that actually. It doesn't take off all of my eye makeup but what can you do? I don't like to waste it. So the event tonight I was at Lane 7 which is in the old Great Central Railway Station in Leicester, which I didn't even know existed. I'd seen Gabby from Cool as Leicester post um, 
videos and things on their Instagram because it's round by the Novo Hotel. If you're not from Leicester, if you ever stay in here, that Novo Hotel looks brilliant and it's right across from Lane 7. And when we arrived there, everybody was really friendly, showed us to a table um, and straight away, I didn't think that the tables were very well distanced from each other. Um, obviously, when people are taking their masks off, you really want them to be two metres apart. And I don't know if you saw from the footage that they were really, really close together. But that said, me and Tom were fine because we had a big table for just the two of us. So we kind of sat in the middle and we got space around us and we ordered our first drinks and I went for a peach margarita which was really nice um, and then so those drinks were gifted to us and then they brought out some food samples and we first of all had this Thai chicken curry which I've never had a Thai curry before and it was really good um, and then it did, I think, because it was a lot busier in there than, I don't know, whether it was that they expected it to be. The food was quite slow coming around, but it was all free. It was all free samples tonight, and they're all street food vendors. So um, we were hoping to try the burgers, but then it was our time to bowl. And then, so when we went up to do bowling, when we went bowling in Butlins the other week, they had every other lane closed off so, so the bit where you get the balls to come up in bowling one of them was just for you whereas today all of them were open and they told people that they didn't need to wear masks when they were bowling so that felt really unsafe so Tom and I kept our masks on to bowl and tried where possible if the person was going up to bowl next to us. I'd let them get their ball and bowl before I went up. Um, oh, this lipstick is not coming off. And then, what else was I gonna say? Yeah, so on the tables there were hand sanitizers and there were people going around all the time wiping down the sinks, wiping down the tables. And like they came and wiped down the box balls but like obviously they didn't get right into the finger holes and I don't know it just didn't feel safe at that bit they really need to close off every other lane like they did at Butlins or make it that people have to wear their masks and then after bowling we had more drinks I had a bubblegum daiquiri which you'll have seen on my Instagram came with all sweets on the top I'll insert a picture here but that was beautiful the food and drink, I couldn't fault it. It's the perfect place to have food and drinks. I just didn't think the social distancing was brilliant around the bowling. So it's the kind of place that once pandemic is over, I would definitely 100% go back. Oh, and after that, we had burgers and we had the bao buns and the one with halloumi. I'm not joking, the halloumi was about this thick. You may have seen in my footage. But... Yeah, I wouldn't go back again at the moment unless they were going to reassure that they had stepped up their social distancing because <sighs> the problem is, it, obviously you have to rely on the common sense of people, but when we were told when we went to our tables, oh, you don't need to wear your mask when you've got food and drink or you're bowling, and then, <laughs> I'm not joking, there wasn't, between me and the people bowling next to us, there wasn't even half a metre, let alone two metres. Another thing, um, and I think again, it's just miscommunication, is that they said, you don't need to have your mask on when you're eating and drinking. But then that meant that people were walking around the venue with their drinks, rather than being sat. So hopefully if they can sort out their social distancing a bit more, I would go there. But as it stood tonight, I would go for food and drink, but not anything else at the moment. Um, that is all for me tonight. I am going to go to bed now. I did say on my Instagram that it was a school night, but it's not. I'm Well, I'm at the charity shop tomorrow doing my shift, but not till one o'clock. So I'm going to bed now. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like and subscribe below. And until next time, look after yourselves. Bye.